Hi friends, welcome to Moody Blooms. In this video, we're going to discuss the Crassula or Crassula, however you prefer to pronounce it, Perfiliata falcata. And this is a video about propagation problems and care for this particular plant. And I just love this plant. It's also known as the propeller plant or the airplane plant because of the unique oblong propeller shaped leaves that grow outward in opposite directions. The greenish gray velvety leaves grow in an overlapping pattern and can grow up to two feet tall. The propeller plant can be grown in full sun to light shade and is hardy to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. They add a unique texture and look to succulent arrangements or flower beds, and they also grow really well indoors in containers. In summer, dense clusters of reddish orange flowers bloom and smell similar to cinnamon. This is pretty rare for a succulent bloom to have a fragrance. Their stunning star-shaped flowers open slowly and last three weeks or more, but the color will fade over that time. Scarlet paintbrush is another common name referring to its magnificent blooms, which butterflies and bees love. To get this beauty to continually bloom, it needs lots of bright light and it thrives in full sun. It also needs cooler temps above around 60 degrees Fahrenheit in winter for best blooming in summer. So be sure it avoids excess warmth in winter. The propeller plant should receive regular watering through the summer, especially in hotter climates. Allow the soil to dry in between each watering as with most succulents. In winter, be sure to reduce the watering, especially if you store it indoors in a cool room. You can apply a diluted liquid fertilizer about once per month during the summer. As with most succulents, Crassula falcata prefers a well-draining soil. Cactus soil or regular potting mix mixed with sand and perlite or pumice works great. The propeller plant can easily be propagated by cuttings or removing the offsets. After I take cuttings, I let the ends callus over for anywhere between three to five days, depending on your climate, and make sure the ends actually heal. Seed and leaf propagation is also possible with the propeller plant. Water propagation also works well with this plant and it is my favorite way to propagate this plant. The propeller plant can develop red spots, typically when there is change in temperature and light exposure. This really isn't a problem though and not damaging to the plant at all. In fact, I think it's beautiful. If they were growing in more shade and then more light is exposed to it as the seasons change, it's not uncommon for this to happen. As with most succulents, as well as the propeller plant, aphids, mealybugs, powdery mildew, fungal leaf spot, as well as stem root rot are common if it's overwatered. Now take a look at this. I've never seen this on any of my succulents. I saw this gross, sticky, white cobweb and I'm thinking, you know, first it's mealybugs, but it's not. Can you guess what that is? Look closely. Yep, a caterpillar eating its way through my succulent. So I'm gonna go ahead and propagate this. I'm gonna take a cut right here. And then I'm gonna propagate the top cutting. And I'm gonna put that in water. And as you can see here, these are the roots that it's developed as it's propagated in water. So this is the top of the plant after I made the cut from where the caterpillar had eaten. And this is the other plant that's in here. These are both actually grown from cuttings. And you'll notice this is after a little bit has passed. And you'll notice these two beautiful rosettes forming at the top. Those are gonna be some new little plants. And then you'll notice on the second and third leaf, there's also some new growth. This over here is a cutting that I took from another plant and I propagated that in water as well. And one of the other problems with these particular plants is that they can grow tall and flop over. And you can do what I've done here. I just propped it up with a seashell or a rock. Um, but if I remove the seashell, it kind of flops over and hangs. So you could just kind of let it hang or you could go ahead and propagate, uh, get some new cuttings out of there to keep it more compact. It's, it's really up to you what you want to do. But um, that is a complaint about this particular plant, but a simple rock or shell will do to keep it upright. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna propagate this guy right here. It's kind of overgrown for this planter, tipping over the side. And I'm gonna make a cutting on here. So let me set this down so I can show you where I'm gonna make the cut. So I'll probably do so 
in between these two leaves. And then we'll let those, the end of that callus over. And then we'll get some new babies, some new growth. So here's our new cutting. We're gonna wait till the ends callus over. Probably propagate that one in water as well. Thanks so much for joining me today on Moody Blooms. I hope you learned more about the propeller plant today. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you're new to our channel. And we'll see you next time.